Unshuffled Kicker is my current version of my classic trick, Unshuffled. This is my method to make words written on the side of the deck morph into any word you want. We've worked for the last year to design a gimmick that will do all the work for you and give you an amazing, powerful kicker to my trick, Unshuffled. My name is Paul Gertner, and I'm so excited to share with you my Unshuffled kicker. Please welcome Paul Gertner! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Allison? Would you mind joining me at the table? I brought something special to show you. It might even look a little familiar because I brought a deck of marked cards. <laughs> you see, Ellison, Penn and Teller know an awful lot about marked cards. And they would tell you that, of course, most magicians mark the cards on the back. However, I mark them a little differently. I mark them on the edge. Ooh. Yeah, see, you can see on the edge of the deck, it's like a, a little pattern like a barcode pattern. There's information there, you just don't know how to read it. And I'm gonna teach you right now. Oh, thank you. Now, I actually marked each card with this permanent marker. And that's important because each card has a unique code on it, but it's permanent and I can't alter it or change it in any manner. Now, if you take a look at the cards, Allison, I want you to confirm for everybody that all the cards are mixed up. In other words, they're not all the red cards here and black cards here. Yes. It's a shuffled pack of cards, right? Yes. And I'm going to begin by actually having you select a card. Okay. So as, now this works with any card in the deck. So I want you to choose one at random. So just say stop as I riffle the pack. Stop. Okay. Look at the card. Remember the name of the card? Okay, and we'll let Penn and Teller see it. I'm going to place it in the pack. And normally at this point in a card trick, the magician squares up the deck and shuffles the card. Right, guys? Yeah, that's Magic 101. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give these cards what we call an unshuffle. Now, it's the opposite of a shuffle. In fact, if you take a close look right here, I'm going to show you that you can see it looks like a shuffle, it sounds like a shuffle, but it's actually an unshuffle. And if you watch the marks on the edge of the deck, you'll see it's starting to read unshuffled four times on the side of the pack. See? Because I've actually unshuffled these cards into four different groups. Hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds, the four suits in the deck. Yeah. But if I give the cards another unshuffle just like this and you can see when I give the cards an unshuffle it looks like a shuffle it sounds like a shuffle but it's not that's an unshuffle and in fact take a look it's now starting to read unshuffled two times on the side of it because I've now separated all the high cards from all the low cards yeah but it gets even more interesting if I give the cards one more unshuffle. And if I do it, I want you to stare at the edge of the deck and see if you can tell the moment that these cards become unshuffled. Wow. Oh, but, but, but Allison, if it says unshuffled, I have to prove it. Remember in the beginning I showed you they were all mixed up? Yeah. On the, take a look at them now because from the ace through the king of hearts, what? of clubs, of diamonds, of spades. It's a completely unshuffled deck of copper. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Now, oh, wait, wait. There's one minor detail. In the beginning, you selected a card. Yeah. And it's somewhere here in this unshuffled deck. Now, I could look for your card face up, but they're all in sequence, perfect order. That wouldn't be too difficult to find, and besides, it probably wouldn't fool Penn and Teller. But if I found your card face down, it would be a little more impressive. For the first time, tell me and everyone else, what was the name of your card? Uh, the King of Spades. If I give the cards one more unshuffle, and if I rearrange almost every card in the pack, except for the top and bottom cards, I think I can hit it. And I did. There it is, your King of Spades. Thank you. Thank you. And tell her, yes. Penn, I think it's pretty clear at this point, I can find any card in this deck I want to find. 
And I can also put these cards in almost any order I want them. Look, if I give them one more unshuffle, take a look at now. The cards have been separated. All the red cards and all the black cards. So there's really only one final question answered. And that is, did I fool Penn and Tell? Thank you.